Have you ever wondered what happens to the waste after you throw it off? Or if there are any ways of managing it at the domestic level? Well, let us find the answer to these questions. Let us begin by first understanding what waste management is. Waste management is the collection, transport, processing, recycling or disposal of waste materials and it is usually undertaken to reduce their effect on health, the environment or aesthetics. Although waste management is important, there is no single method of refuse disposal which is suitable equally in all circumstances. The principal procedures for this are dumping, sanitary landfill, incineration, composting, manure pits and burial. In today's video, we are going to focus on composting. Composting is a natural process that breaks down organic materials such as food scraps and yard waste into a nutrient-rich soil amendment called compost. Composting is an environmentally friendly way to dispose of organic waste and also provides numerous benefits to soil health and plant growth. This material will have considerable manurial value for the soil. So, what are the principal byproducts of this process? They are carbon dioxide, water and heat. This heat produced during composting is of 60 degrees Celsius or higher, thus destroying all pathogenic agents. During the composting process, microorganisms like bacteria and fungi break down the organic materials, releasing nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium which are essential for plant growth. Now, what we discussed was composting done manually, but composting can also be done mechanically. This is an aerobic procedure where we manufacture compost on a large scale. The waste is first cleared of any salvageable materials like bones, glass, etc., which are likely to interfere with the grinding procedure. This waste is then pulverized or in other words, crushed into a fine powder with the help of pulverizing equipment. Ensure that the particle size after this grinding process is less than 2 inches. This pulverized waste is then mixed with sewage, sludge or night soil in a rotating machine which is then incubated. The period taken for the compost to be manufactured through this technique is 4 to 6 weeks. In conclusion, not all waste is waste. As a dental public health student, you may be interested to know that composting can also help reduce the use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides and herbicides, which have negative impacts on human and environmental health. By using compost to support plant growth, we can reduce our reliance on these chemicals and promote a healthier, more sustainable food system. So let's all do our part to protect our planet for future generations. As the saying goes, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. For more such videos, download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one.